Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial series on WooCommerce discounts. In this video, we're going to learn how to offer user role based bulk discount. More specifically, we're going to learn how to create a discount for wholesale customers. Well, we're going to use the popular WooCommerce discount plugin called Discount Rules Pro for WooCommerce to create such discounts. Before we get into the video, please make sure you have downloaded, installed and activated the Discount Rules Pro plugin on your site. If you haven't done this yet, then please do not worry because we have a video that can help you to install the Discount Rules plugin which we have posted already. You can find the link to download the plugin as well as the tutorial video in the description below. Feel free to check the description below for further details. With that being said, let's get started. With Discount Rules Pro for WooCommerce plugin, you can create discounts for specific user roles. To do this, we're going to go to the WordPress dashboard. Under WooCommerce, you'll find more discount rules. And if you click on more discount rules, you'll be taken to this page. Now, all that you have to do is click on add new rule to create a fresh rule. Nice. Let's enter a title. As said, this is going to be a user role based bulk discount. We're going to offer discount based on quantities purchased by the customer. For example, in this video, let's consider 10% off for 100 quantities. 20% off on 200 quantities, etc. Okay, so to create this rule, let's first enter the title. I'm going to enter wholesale customers discount bulk. Okay, so this is the title that I'm entering. And then let's go ahead and select the discount type by clicking on this drop down. And the discount type that I'm going to select is bulk discount, obviously. Now it's time for us to decide which products are eligible for this particular bulk discount. All right. To do that, I'm going to click on this drop down and select a specific category called accessories. Nice. Once I've selected the accessories category here, it means that this bulk discount is only applicable on products that come under this accessories category. Nice. After which we're going to define minimum maximum quantities and the specific discount for that particular range since this is a bulk discount and as I mentioned we're going to offer 1 to 100 products for the worth of 10% off okay so I'm going to leave the discount type to percentage discount itself because we want to offer a percentage discount okay to add the next range I'll have to click on add range and set the minimum quantity this will be automatically set based on the previous maximum quantity you have entered you can see 101 is given here now the maximum quantity is 200 now i'm going to set the discount type to percentage discount itself and set the value to 20. you can also add multiple ranges if you want i'm going to click on add range and then you can see based on the previous maximum quantity we have entered the minimum quantity is automatically set and here in the maximum quantity we can either leave it empty or restrict it to a value. If I leave it empty, it means customers purchasing more than 201 quantities will receive 30% off. Okay, nice. You can also change the minimum quantities and maximum quantities as per your requirement. Nice. Now that we have set the ranges and the specific discount value for that particular range, to define this particular discount rule only to wholesale customers. In a way that this discount is applicable only for wholesale customers, we will have to move further down, click on add condition button, extend this condition using the drop down and you can select user role to be the condition. All right. And here you can search for the user role that is eligible for this particular bulk discount. Okay. I'm going to select wholesale customer here as discussed. So let me just go ahead, search wholesale. Now you can see when you come to the user role condition, you'll be able to see the default user roles that are created by our WooCommerce. In case you do not find a specific user role that you want to offer discounts for, you might have to use plugins like user role editor or other plugins and create those user role first, assign users to that particular user role created using that plugin and then come back here and you'll be able to load those user roles. For example, you can see these are some default WooCommerce roles, user roles, isn't it? Now I have used members plugin to create the specific wholesale customer user role and I have assigned users to this particular user role. 
and that's why I'm able to load this wholesale customer here using the who discount rules plugin. All right. So remember to use other plugins to create other user roles that you would like to have. Now click on wholesale customer and you'll be able to restrict this rule to be applied only to wholesale customers. Nice, isn't it? Great. After you enter the condition that is very necessary for this scenario, let's go ahead and save and close this particular rule. Now you'll be able to notice that the rule is saved successfully, not only saved but is also active, which means you are ready for the testing. Let me take you to the storefront. You probably may see that I am not still qualified for the discount because I am logged in as an admin. Now to test this particular user role discount, I may have to log in to that specific user role, meaning I have to log in as a wholesale customer. Okay, let me take you to my WooCommerce users and show you that the user Benita is the one that is assigned to the wholesale customer user role. Okay, so now I'm going to use this email ID to log in as a wholesale customer and show you if the discount is applicable for this particular user who belongs to the wholesale customer user role. Okay, to do this, I'm going to open the URL in an incognito window. Why do we go for an incognito window? It's because to simulate a new login. Okay, so let me go in an incognito window. Now, now all that I have to do is log in as a wholesale customer, right? So let me go to my accounts page and then enter the email address of the wholesale user. I'm trying to log in as a wholesale user, isn't it? So here we go. Here's the email address and I'm also going to enter the password. Enter. Now I'm logging in as a wholesale customer. Well, after we logged in as a wholesale customer, now you're able to see that I am qualified for the bulk discount. Now, all that we have to do is add products to the cart and see if the bulk discount works properly. I'm going to take you to the accessories page because we have defined that only accessory category is eligible for the bulk discount. And you can see all the products under accessories category are eligible. Let's go ahead and add products to the cart and check if the bulk discount works properly. I'm going to add this beanie cap. Right now you can see I have opted for only one quantity and that's why I fall under 10% off and you can see that the original price is crossed out and the sale price, the discount price is shown. Meaning 10% applied on this particular product will give me this product for $18. Okay, now I'm going to buy two, 150 of this particular product. Okay. So you can see as soon as I select 150 here, as soon as I increase the quantity to 150, my discount price has changed from 18 to 16, isn't it? Meaning now I qualify for 20% off because my quantity is 150, which falls between 101 to 200, nice? So now I can get this cap for $16, okay? Let's add to cart and then take you to the cart page. Now you can see that I have bought 150 quantities of this particular product for 20% off. Okay. Now if I try to get this product for. Now if I try to increase this quantity to 250. I will be able to get this product for the next discount with this 30%. See. Nice isn't it. So this is how bulk discounts work for specific user roles that is wholesale customer. Remember only if you are logged in to that particular user role you will be able to receive the discount. Nice. Thank you so much for watching.